seems like every season COD Mobile releases a new weapon, and this season it is the EM2 available at Tier 21 in the Battle Pass. So I've gotten that a few days ago, um, so I've got that equipped here on a loadout along with this Iskra Graffiti Queen I got for watching the World Championships. So naturally, I've got to take a look at this thing and make a gunsmith and try it out. Uh, first thing I noticed when looking at this no, it's got the bullet speed, but more importantly, if you look at the damage detail, this is a three-shot weapon. So, like the uh, Man of War, or the ASM-10, um, and kind of the Odin, where it does a three-shot to any part of the body out to a certain range. So, that's obviously nice to have, um, but we'll see what we can do. I don't know if it'll be worth range boosting, but... Just to look at some of the interesting attachments here, because there's that bullet speed factor. We've got different barrels that affect the speed. This one slows it down. This one speeds it way up. This one speeds it up and also increases the damage. But then the recoil is a little crazy. Um, also got different magazines on here. We've got a fast reload but decrease the ADS time. That seems to be a thing on a lot of these newer weapons they've released that have these kind of different attachments. Um, so I'm going to throw on some of these right away. This is, I don't want to decrease the movement speed like that, so I'm going to throw on this one, Sturdy Grip Tape. And I'm going to throw on this here, so I don't do hip fire much, so the light stock. And then I think we'll try, leave those off for now, take this into the practice range and finish up the rest of the gunsmith there. Okay, so, oh, this is like a, whoa, like a built-in sight here, how about that? I don't know if that's good or bad, it's better than a lot of the default iron sights on guns, um, but it's also worse than the red dot. I don't know, maybe it's comparable to like the swordfish, but no matter, we're going to use it. I wonder if you can customize the reticle on there, but... Um, let's finish out our loadout here. So, let's try throwing on... Yeah, I don't want to do that. don't want to decrease the range. Let's throw on this one. I feel like on all these guns that have a task force barrel, the task force barrel is supposed to be, like, the best attachment for it. So that increases to 39s and 36s in the bullet speed. I'll have to look at the comparison afterwards to see if that changed anything else. Um, and I definitely want more ammo. Um, well, maybe not. I don't know. We could leave that off. That decreases the ADS time. It slows the reload time down a lot. But you know what we should do? I forgot to look at the grips. Because if we're going to use all that recoil, we should throw on this field agent one. It decreases the recoil a bunch. And while we're at it, Agency suppressor is usually a good attachment, too. Let's throw that on. Ooh, that sounds nice. And this recoil, actually, I'm not even controlling it right now. You see, it's like barely, it's barely going anywhere. So I think we're going to go with this. Let's go check the stats. Alright, so this is what we've come out with, just from the attachments in the practice range. Not too bad, mostly positives. What I'm interested to look at, though, is let's take off this Task Force Barrel and do a damage comparison here. So it changes headshot to 1.2 on the top there, and then the upper arms, upper body to 1.1. Oh, and lower arms to 1.1 also. So that makes it... Let's see, you can get three shots all the way up to 37 meters in four of the six ranges. And this is three shot. Oh, okay. You need a headshot in order to do three shots out to 37. So this is actually, I think that's a that's the best barrel to use. Um, I'm not going to know for sure. I'm not going to do a full in-depth analysis and try it all out. But this is going to be the build that we're going to try out here in a ranked match. So let's go. All right. We got Team Deathmatch on Apocalypse. And it looks like this one's been put into the regular rotation for Team Deathmatch maps. Last season, I think it was still one of those trial ones. Yeah, so, got our Iskra Graffiti Queen. 
along with the new EM2 here. And I'm going to see if we can play some long range with this site. But I'm going to go to the reliable spot here, set up the trophy system first, but this sniping outpost right here, and there's already our first victim. Um, pinpoint perk might be helping a little bit there, but this is feeling really good so far, hitting a lot of shots. Oh, we got two guys set up here. Ah, oh, pinpoint perk, couldn't get that one though. I guess I shouldn't completely blame the perk though, I have a lot to do with the aiming. But the spot is still working, so... Oh, I feel like I was so close to hitting some headshots there. That's okay. But let's go back here. Um, <clears throat> see if those guys ran all the way through. Looks like somebody... Oh, man. Oh, against a Type 25. That could be a tough fight. Uh, we'll play it a little bit slower here. There we go. Because this can play close range. Like... There's that three-shot kill, but you gotta hit all three shots. There's not really any chance, room for uh, missing. We lost the lead. Okay, we're just playing ring around the rosy here. We'll get that kill. Let's get out of here before the grenade goes off, though. Okay. Oh! Oh, there were both of them there. Oh, I was like, how did that guy get over there so quick? I didn't expect to have two guys, but let's see if they keep circling around here, because we seem to be doing pretty well in this end. Oh, boy. Okay, he wasn't out of ammo yet. I was hoping I caught him on the reload, but we didn't. So, when I, whenever I play this map, maybe you noticed any time I play in here, I like to stay in this back section here. I don't like the, the other side of the map where you can be like above and below. I think, at least on a phone, oh, there's a free kill. It's easier with the smaller screen to play only on one level, you know, not to have to worry about people above you or below you. Wow! Oh, he was using a pistol! I was like, how in the world did I not die there? But we get to try out the hip firing a little bit. Well, so far, I th I don't know, I think I like this gun. I think it would be better with a red dot sight, but at the same time, this scope, I think, is a little bit zoomed in. There's a good kill. Through the wall, even. Um, the scope is definitely better than some of the default iron sights, and it does kind of help for range, but it's got the same problem that, like, the Koshka scope has, or the SVD scope, where it kind of limits the visibility a little bit, except the difference is that, because it's so small, it limits the visibility, um, I guess, I don't know, when somebody moves side to side in that little window, I guess. As opposed to like the Koshka, you can't see what's going on on the outsides. This is somebody, if you're shooting really long range, somebody could potentially hide behind that scope. Oh, I was afraid, normally when it lags like that I died, but I got the kill and then they sniped me right away. So I guess I did die, but at least I got the kill first. Let's pick this guy off. There we go. Still getting used to the recoil, you know, the we got the what, the more recoiled barrel on here. That one, I just, I was out in the open. That was not a good good positioning by me at all. It was not good. But I don't, as long as you're playing team deathmatch. Oh, let's hide. Um, I don't think you need the extended magazine, because this is a slow-firing gun. So... Right as I back off, somebody showed up there. Oh, and here's somebody else. There we go. So it's like I'm playing close range, but not like aggressive close range. That's kind of funny. But I don't think you need the extended mag. It fires slowly. Let's go back to see if this guy's still here. Um, but you know, maybe if you were playing hard point or something, you'd want more ammo. But I've been reloading after every kill, and because this is team deathmatch, it usually usually seem to have time for that, but you know, every once in a while, like I had that two on one at the beginning, it doesn't work, but I see all these people up here in the UAV, so I'm just gonna hold this position for a little bit, but okay, teammate just took that one out and just fired a few shots in there just in case. Looks like the shock RC run up, but where'd it go? Oh! We're going the other way here, okay. Let's follow this loosely. Can we get this kill? Oh, man! 
Oh, yeah, it was that Type 25 guy again. But hey, we're winning. We're almost there. Keep it up. Your footsteps. Oh, here you are. There we go. Easy. Got revenge in that, that Type 25 guy. Maybe I should have picked that up and tried it out. I've never tried that um, horseman's pick. I haven't tried that in a while. But I probably don't have it downloaded either. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely think... Oh, and that, we got the last kill. Awesome. I definitely think you should try this one out. It's interesting. I don't really... I still don't have a good grasp on how the bullet speeds affect things. Like, yeah, I know what bullet speed is, but... As far as it like how it affects the actual gameplay, I don't I don't know that I play enough or to be able to compare that closely. And we got second place. Um, but yeah, definitely go try it out. Unlock it. It's free. I think it's interesting. It's because of the attachments. It could be better than the um, Man of War. Definitely better than the ASM10 because the ASM10 is crazy recoil, and I'm I never hit the first two shots anyway with Branson. Uh, four, oh, 14 and 8. Wow. That's pretty good. So, show you my loadout. And I don't know if this is the best or not, but we did have the pinpoint perk on here. Um, I got that task force barrel. That's the, I think it's the most interesting part. But otherwise, stability and movement speed. So, there's that barrel. And thank you, everybody for watching, go try it.